Welcome to SmartBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we've been focusing on how to add interactivity into your Smart Notebook lessons. Today, we're going to focus on how to use an Elmo document camera with the Smart Notebook software using a feature called Transparency Background. Now, many classrooms today have both of these tools in their rooms. They have the Elmo, and of course, they have a Smart Board. But they don't know how to actually use them together. They're always used independently. So today I'm going to show you how to actually use those in conjunction with each other and how to physically set up your Elmo to, in order to use the software. Now the most important part we have to know about is what to use them together is we have to have the actual Elmo software that we get here. Now, in order to use your Elmo with, in conjunction with your smart notebook software, you have to run the ImageMate software that comes with the actual Elmo. Now here's the disk that it comes with. And if for some reason you're missing the disk, you can always go to Elmo USA and download the software. And there below is the link. And it's tinyurl.com forward slash Elmo USA. Now once you go and install that software on your laptop or your desktop, whatever computer that you're using, we're now ready to go ahead and hook up the actual Elmo itself. So if I go back to my Elmo here, typically there, there are many different setups that teachers use in the classrooms with the Elmo. It's a very versatile tool. Normally, they have on your, facing on your right hand side, you have the first VGA inlet here. And that is the one that usually goes to the projector itself. And so that's normally what, normally what teachers have to use. And they just run the actual projector by itself with the Elmo. And they're not really running the computer through it. But for us, we want to be able to switch between the computer and the Elmo. So like right now, if I look at my switching over here, I'm, I'm on PC. Now, if I wanted to switch to my camera, the document camera, I am now have the ability to show my, my document up here on top of my camera. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that I can run my computer through the Elmo. So to do that, let me go back to PC here, I need to take the VGA cable outlet from on my laptop and connect it here and place it to the next one here that's labeled VGA in on your Elmo. That allows us to be able to switch between the document camera and the Elmo. Now, at this point, you can switch between the two, but the, but the Elmo and the smart board still are not talking to each other. In order to get those two pieces to talk to each other, we have to connect a USB cable. And on the Elmo, I have the USB cable right there. And now I have the USB cable on my laptop over here. And I just choose any of the USB ports that are there. And here's the one that I have up here. I have it connected. I also have my smart board connected to my laptop on both pieces. Now, once I have those two setups completed, I can now go ahead and actually use them in conjunction. So the first thing I need to do is go to my laptop itself. And I want to go ahead and turn on the smart notebook software. So I can either go to the smart board, I can use my computer. But for right now, I'm going to go to my, my smart board, smart notebook 10. And it's going to be a double click, and it's going to open up here in just a moment. And there it is, coming up. So I have my smart, look, smart notebook opened up, but I'm not actually ready to start using that just yet. Because now I need to open up the ImageMate software from Elmo. I need to open up that application, because we're going to use those two together. So to do that, I'm going to go to my Microsoft button on my laptop. And that's on the lower left-hand side. I'm going to click on that, and here, my ImageMate software is right there. It says, I am ImageMate. Now, a nice little hint for this may be, if you're going to be using this quite a bit, you don't want to be hunting for it all the time. And so if I right click on ImageMate, I'm going to get a little pop-up window that comes up here. And I'm going to go to Pin to Start Menu. So now, every time when I click on the Microsoft button here on the bottom left, the ImageMate software will always be right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it opens it up. Let's give it a little bit of time. And there it is. I have my image. But you notice right now the image is kind of small. It's like, well, geez, how are my students gonna actually going to see that or actually use it? So what I'm going to do is in my window that I have on this side, I'm going to click on the Expand button, the Full Screen button, and click on Full Screen. And now I have a full screen of my document. I'm going to try to make it a little bit there it goes a little bit nicer there. So now I have my document up, but now I need to go back and access my smart notebook. 
Now I'm in full screen and I don't want to get out of this full screen, so how do I do that? Well, what I need to do is simply, I need to hit a few keys on my keyboard. I'm going to hit the Alt button and hold that one down, and I'm going to press now on my Tab button at the same time, and I'm going to Tab to open up my Smart Notebook software again to bring that to the forefront. So I'm going to click on that. And notice now, as I'm panning through, I have, you can see all the different programs that I've opened up. And so now you can see my Smart Notebook is in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of the Alt Tab button and quit tabbing. And so I'm back in my Smart Notebook. Now this is where the transparency feature comes in really nice, the transparency background. What that allows to happen here is when I click on the transparency button and the icon is going to be a, a computer monitor that has a gray and white checkerboard. That gray and white checkerboard, when you click on that, it turns this whole work environment that you see here, it turns it uh, transparent. So I can see what's on my desktop or what's behind my, that software application. And also, it minimizes my toolbar that I have, and so I can start marking up a document. So let me go ahead and click on that now. And now, as you can see, I'm in Smart Notebook. I have my toolbar that's right there, and again, it's a floating toolbar. I can move anywhere on that document that I wanted to go ahead and do. I have my full document that I have up here that I'm looking at. And now, if I wanted to highlight something, I can go to my toolbar. And here, if I wanted to say I wanted to choose like a green highlighter, I can click on the three little square dots, open up my menu screen, and I'm going to go to one of my pens, and I'm going to choose my green highlighter. And so now, I can take my finger, and I can go ahead and highlight different portions of my document. Now, for some reason, I had a little bit of error there. It, it printed a little bit more than I wanted to, or actually uh, highlighted more than I wanted to, but that's OK. Click on that. And so now, if I wanted to, let's say I was in a math class, and I wanted to maybe measure something. I know this is not a measurement document that I have here, but notice now I've got a ruler that comes up, and I can go ahead and move. Actually, to go back to being a cursor here. It's always a, a classic mistake. You always have to go back to being the, your previous tool. And so I'm going to go ahead and now I can move my, my measuring tape there and I can measure my ruler, different things that I wanted to go ahead and do. I have access to all these different tools. To get rid of that, I simply click on it again. I actually put two or three up. So let me click on that and see how to get rid of it. I'll go to the drop down menu and go to delete. Click on that one, go back here and go to delete and delete. Okay. So now as you can see, this is how you can actually use the transparency feature with the Smart Notebook. I hope that you like this feature because this pretty much wraps up our, our show for today. And uh, again, hope you like it and you find it useful in your classroom. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.